Hey guys, how you doing? So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Alright guys, so sorry about that. So yes, uh, I am in a hospital room right now and I'll be here overnight. Um, I had my left arm went numb and fingers were tingly and uh, had a little tunnel vision this morning. Had a little issue, a little tickle. I don't even know what it was. Until. It wasn't any pain, but it was kind of weird. It was just like a tickle or something going on. I felt like maybe the muscle or something here. So I came to the hospital about uh, 3 o'clock, 3.30. And uh, they brought me in, checked me for a stroke, did the MRI. MRI? The big circle one, the MRI first, and they did a chest x-ray, and they're keeping me for observation overnight. Um, and then tomorrow I get a, I get the magnetic one. So whatever one is, they checked me first. A CT scan? Maybe they did a CT, and now they're going to do an MRI? I'm not in the medical, you guys know I don't really know medical stuff. But anyway, um... I'm just sitting here. They just finally brought me a salad and a wrap to eat. My blood sugar is good. Uh, everything else seems to be okay. It's just that um, they need to work on me and do a full workup since I'm here and make sure that everything's good. They're going to check my car carotid artery and my brain. Yeah, I know. Seriously, they're checking my brain. So, I hope they don't have high expectations, right? So, anyway, I'm in here, and uh, I just wanted to say hi, and uh, that's about it. So, um, if you don't see it, I may, if you, if you see this video, you probably haven't seen one for two or three or four days. And I apologize for that, but that's because I'm over here in the hospital for a, for a little bit, uh, getting checked out, make sure, you know, putting me up on the rack. Make sure I'm all lubed up and whatever else that I need to be for uh, life to start again. So, um, look forward to making some videos for you guys again. And uh, I will be, well, by the time you see this, I'll be out because it meant I went home and I actually edited this. Or April took it home and she edited it. Uh, but I'm going to eat my fantastic wrap and it's actually really good in salad. And of course, I had, you can't go to a hospital without getting the hospital jello. I mean, seriously, you have to get the hospital jello. So, um, anyway, they've been super great. The doctor here is great. The nurses here are great. The staff has been awesome. Uh, I have nothing but great things to say about this place. Uh, but I will talk to you later. Hey, guys. So now I'm getting an ultrasound, and no, I'm not pregnant, or at least I don't think I am. If I am, this is going to be the best YouTube video you've ever, ever seen. Anyway, I think they're doing my arteries to see if there's any blockages. So it's like 8 o'clock at night, and that's what we're doing now. Anyway, um... All kinds of things are happening. So we've had chest x-rays, we had MRI, I think MRI, or CAT scan, can't remember which one. And now we're getting uh, the, uh, the arteries checked for blockages. It's kind of like checking out the uh, fuel make it happen or on your car. So it's like cleaning a carb, it's like doing carb cleaning. That's what we're doing. Well that was quick, it only took about 15 minutes. They checked this side of my neck, this side of my neck. I heard all these wow, 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 Sounds like that, which I guess is my blood going in here and coming back and going here and coming back. So, anyway, 
Next, waiting on my transportation back to my room. Oh, good morning, folks. It's uh, 7 a.m. I'm still in the hospital and uh, just waking up. And uh, so they came in every four hours, gave me blood pressure and such. And still waiting for some tests. And then hopefully I will be out of here today. I assume I'll be out of here today. But um, it wasn't bad. I had some, a good dinner that they made. And, uh, you know, you sleep every four hours. And this bed was kind of comfortable. Thank God it wasn't freezing in here, but I had a small blanket. And uh, the nurse that took care, she was really, uh, you know, came in, woke me up every four hours like you're supposed to, to take blood pressure and stuff. And uh, it's not too bad because I'm used to going to bed about 10, 30, 11, and then waking up at 6. All right, so... Um, my battery is going low on the phone, so I will, uh, don't know how many more little updates I can put on here, but I will put them on, and, um, I'll make a video when I actually, uh, get out of here. So, so far, so good. Everything, all the testing, they did a, uh, uh a couple tests so far. Everything is coming back, uh, negative, so, and my blood sugar, everything is good. So, so far. So good. All right, thanks. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, guys. So we're getting a echocardiogram now, and then we're doing a bubble test. So don't know what that is, but after the echocardiogram, we're doing a bubble test, and that's what I'm waiting on a nurse to show up for something. Okay. So we're in day two. All right, guys, I don't know how long this will last because I only have seven minutes left on my thing, but it's 2.30 the next day. I've already had been poked and prodded. I finally said, I got to get out of here. They were going to admit me again while I waited for an MRI, and I said, no, I'm just, I need to go. And they think that I may have had a mini stroke, and I said, well, everything else is coming up fine, so you need to either get me out of here by 5.30 or you can I'm not just hanging around to take an MRI so the doctors came down first the nurses were like well then you won't get anything I'm like fine I don't care just get me out of here um, and then I said either talk to a doctor or if it's doctor doesn't want to talk then that means I am not in such bad shape that they need to come talk to me so anyway bottom line is they came talked to me and I asked for the charge nurse who came so everything is cool and um, at this point I am just waiting uh, they said they ordered it stat so I can go up there they changed some meds by the way my a1c has come way down so thank God my that's been working the uh, low carb diet has been working really good so my a1c is now a six which is awesome uh, came down from a nine and my blood, even though I haven't had any medications for my, um, for my diabetes yet, my diabetes is um, down to, uh, what is it, down to um, 134, so that's without meds. Anyway, I'm just waiting, it's 2.30, I will be out of here by 5.30 one way or the other, hopefully they'll get the MRI, but if they don't, they don't. And I'll just have to deal with it then. So, anyway, um, just keeping you guys updated. Yes, I put my shirt on because I just don't oh want to wear the gown. All right, bye. Hey, guys. It is um, 6.15 at night. I just got back from the hospital. I'm still wearing the same clothes. I literally just got back and plugged my phone in. So, a little drama happened towards the end. So, the MRI that I was supposed to get... Uh, I was like, I'm, I, I'm just gonna leave because I didn't want to stay there. They wanted me to stay another day and put go put me in another room and stay there, and just wait. And I'm like, I'm not waiting here just to take an MRI. All my other labs and stuff had come out um, good and no issues. So I'm like, why do I need this other than the fact that I have good insurance? And I felt like they were almost running the bill up, to be honest. So I said I was gonna leave. And when I said I was going to leave, 
two doctors came down and they're like, oh no, you know, we'll put you on stat. We'll get you up there to get the MRIs. Well, I said I was leaving at 3.30 and I called at 3.30 and said, hey, that was at like 1.30. At 3.30, I said, listen, I'm just going to leave. And they're like, well, you, the nurse is like, oh, you can't leave. I'm like, well, I kind of can leave. I mean, you know, I'm not a prisoner here. And then the nurse, uh, the head nurse who looked about 23, uh, she came down and she's like, well, you have to sign this thing saying that you're giving up, you know, that you're leaving against doctor's uh, advice and stuff. And I'm like, not really. I mean, the doctor said I should go through a full workup. And um, so it's not because they found anything with initials, which I don't remember. They said, uh, you know, we don't even think you had that, but we'd like to figure out what's going on. So I said, well, I'll wait till 3.30. Now 3.30 when I asked to leave, suddenly at uh, two seconds later, I thought the nurse was coming in to take the IV out and it was a girl, oh, I'm your transporter. So then she takes me up for the MRI. I go up, I get my MRI. I'm back in the room by four o'clock. So I'm sitting there and I'm waiting. Now, prior to me going up, the doctor was like, wanted to know who my doctor was and everything else. And he said, you know, if there's not an issue, you should be out of here by, you know, five you know, it's, it's not going to take long. So I sat there from four till five o'clock. And at five o'clock I called down, I said, you know, is the doctor here? And the one, somebody in a pair of blue scrubs said, no, your doctor has gone for the day. Well, if he's gone for the day, then I'm like, well, then if he's gone, I just, I'm just going to go home. He can reach out to my doctor. We all know, uh, when we have doctors, or at least I have for my 55 years, your doctor rarely ever gives you the results right away. In fact, I haven't had results of any of the tests other than what the technicians told me uh, since until the one doctor came down at 3.30. Nobody came into my room and said, oh, by the way, your results are fine uh, until I said I was leaving. And then they came down the first time. So I said, well, I'm leaving. I'll leave at 5.30 if somebody doesn't come here. Well, then the nurse goes, you can't check out. And I said, well, I can because I'm obviously not a print, you know, prisoner here. And then she comes back. She goes, you have to sign this document on her little electronic clipboard that said that I am leaving against medical advice. I said, I'm not leaving against medical advice. I stayed here and took the whole, um, took all the tests that they had. The doctor said that if there was a problem, he would come and find me. The doctor is gone, so he's not coming to find me. And he would send over everything to my primary physician, which they know because it's in the system. And he went over that with me. And that if there is something, then he will have a consultation or they'll you know, ask me to go and do something else down the road. So I did everything they asked. And I'm not, I told, I'm not going to lie and say that I'm leaving uh, against physicians. She goes, well, that's policy of the hospital. I said, well, I'm not signing it because it's a lie. Because the doctor said that I should leave. And she goes, well, the doctor's not here and he's not going to read your results. So we have you a room upstairs. And I said, I'm not paying another, I don't know, what they charge the hospital, $5,000, $10,000 for a room? I mean, you want to give me a $5,000 room in Aruba with airfare? Okay, I'll do that. But I'm not, it seemed like because I have good insurance that they just kept trying to run up the bill the most they could. And the other weird thing, it's talking about weird things, is I'm on a low carb diet and I'm diabetic and yet... The breakfast they sent me was biscuits, gravy, eggs, piece of sausage, and fruit. Well, fruit is not good for diabetics. It's not good for carbs. And I actually have the receipt in my pocket of what they gave me. Um, the coffee is fine. And the turkey uh, patty was fine, the turkey sausage. But why would I get biscuits and gravy, you know, for a low-carb thing so it seems like they the the first day there people listened to you the second day there they really didn't i think the doctor did but i even said to the doctor Are you guys just doing this because i have good insurance because i feel like if i didn't have good insurance you would have just let me go home but because you know that my insurance company will pay that that's why you're here so anyway i walked out i i, I actually asked for the charge nurse charge nurse said i had to sign something i said i'm not signing it then she said well then the exit is that door over there Um, let me just say this at the end. I made a mistake by not going as soon as I had these symptoms. And even at this moment, 
is there a possibility that it is something that I had that was a stroke? There's always that possibility. It just didn't leave any evidence. And that is something that could happen. Um, did I make a mistake driving myself? Probably, yeah. I mean, I waited a couple, I waited like two hours, then drove myself. Should not happen. Also, the most of the people that are, um, that work in these hospitals, I get it. They have long hours. We all have long hours. They're going through a whole lot of frustration, a whole lot of everything as well. So I don't want to sit here and maybe bad mouth or sound like I'm blaming or complaining about their job. Their job is as hard as anybody else's right now, if not harder. So it's not that I, um, like 90% of the people are professional, 90%, 95, 99% of them are professional. Um, and maybe they were just having bad days too. So I just kind of want to say that's why I'm not putting up the names of the hospital or anything else. Um, everybody has a bad day. Everybody gets sick and tired of somebody. Maybe I stepped on their toes. I don't know. But at the bottom, at the end of the day, you need to also take charge of your own medical decisions. Ask why you're getting a test. Ask why this is happening. Ask if they have a result for a test. Because that's the things that got me to talk to a doctor. I had not talked to a doctor the whole day until I started asking questions. Um, so I'm home and I feel fine. And I felt fine 30 minutes after getting in there yesterday. And now all the tests that I'm aware of, everything that I've done, there was nobody that seemed alarmed on anything. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, you know, even my, um, my, uh, blood stuff, my A1C is down to a six, which is awesome. It, it was up at a nine for a while. Now it's down to a six. Uh, and I know that from the doctor and everything is really good. So, um, I'm going back home here and anyway, um, I hope nothing happens. I hope I don't have a stroke, but if I do and I die, I die. And everybody in the world knows I've had a great life. I've traveled the world more times than I've ever wanted to consider. I've done things that I've always wanted to do between flying in the military aircraft to racing cars to scuba diving down sea. I mean, I've done pretty much everything. I've been in movies. I've been on concert tours. I've been, I, I have done everything I've ever wanted to do. Write books, write novels, write kids books, sell art. You name it, I've done it. And I'm happy about my life. So that's that. But I don't want to die tomorrow. But if something would ever happen to me and you guys can hear it here first, if something ever happens, I've had a great life. And I hope to have a longer life. I hope to also grow my hair long, by the way. And it looks crazy. This is on my phone, by the way. So anyway, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. I haven't changed clothes since 5.30 yesterday morning. And um, so April uh, has is, going and is doing something. April was totally supportive. Uh, the nice thing about having her and her medical background is she can explain all the stuff that uh, all the other doctors because April's a doctor of pharmacy so anything she knows all the terms and stuff that people tell me and say so anyway uh thanks guys uh thanks for any well wishes um I feel better but this is why there's no videos up because I've been in playing with the hospital here for two and a half days and so um I will get some videos up this week but uh, I just need a rest need to do laundry and need to eat something um like a salad so have a great day thanks for watching sorry there's no cars on this april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one